good, ladies and gentlemen. This bout is scheduled for three two-minute rounds of Arsenal Extreme Action. It has a 63 kg weight limit, and it is brought to you by the Mad Butcher. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the cage wearing black trunks with white and red trim, weighing it at 62 kgs even, representing City Kickboxing. Introducing Lawrence Loza Lou. And his opponent fighting under the red corner enters the cage wearing silver and black trunks, weighing in at 63 kgs even, representing Urban Sports. Introducing Pong the Panda Chow! Fighters to the center cage, please, for the Rebel John Conway's instructions. All right, fighters, first of us, both must be able to protect yourselves throughout the whole fight. Listen to my instructions when I call break. Stop throwing, step away from each other until I say fight. First round is kickboxing, but there are no knees. You can do spinning back fist. Round two, full Muay Thai rules. Round three, mixed martial arts. Shake him up, back in the corner, out of the bell. Yes, another extreme bout, Arsenal extreme bout here between Pong the Panda Chow and Lawrence Liu, who has been fighting for five years in total and two one. professionally. Lawrence Liu, the man in the labyrinth shorts on the right, or the, sorry, the left of your screen. Chow, with the peroxide here. He's the man on the attack right now, and he just landed a decent right hand. Lawrence Louis just covering up, trying to survive the onslaught there, though he lands a nice straight left of his own there. And uh, just following up now, a heavy start from Chow. Yeah, plenty of action once again to start these fights. That's what we've seen. It's been a trend all evening. And you can see Lawrence Louis, very composed, tight guard. Looking for the counter shots as uh, Chow winds up. Sticking right hand to the body there from Louis. And you can see he's catching Chow as he winds up. And then another straight right hand from Lawrence Louis. Just a little slip there. And uh, I wouldn't mind having a look at the replay of that to see whether that was caused by a shot or whether he actually slipped. And you can see spinning back fist there heavy shots being landed by Louis Chow is throwing more volume but Louis is a little more accurate with the shots he lands another crisp right hand behind the ear follows it up with the low kick 33 seconds to go this is just the first round now Louis just starting to come on you can see he went to throw the over elbow there for a minute <laughs> little counter right uppercut there I don't know why he's touching gloves he uh, Landed with a good shot there. Here's a right hand that just missed by the Panda. Good defense from Lawrence Louis in this, the first round, as he just pulls out of the way of a big right hand. But uh, the Panda landed that left hook of his, which is probably his best punch. Oh, good little finish there from Lawrence Louis to finish that first round. And a pretty even one to start back shortly for round two. Welcome back. Both fighters just getting their instructions from their respective corners. So we see some of the highlights Second here. Down Pretty four, even round opening rounds. Boy time. Yeah, it looked like a bit of a slip there from Lance Lurie on the canvas. Uh, hard to tell. He wasn't too concerned about it. Just gave yep. a little shake of his head to say it's all good. Let's keep going. Now, interesting to see how the judges score round that. Two. Lurie was definitely the more accurate, and I think he landed the higher volume of shots, but the Panda was pushing forward with a lot of volume. Now we're going into full Muay Thai rules now. Thai clinch and elbows are allowed. Two minutes to do their work. Slipped under that right hand there. Very nicely, very nicely. Lawrence Louis, he's 
very accurate with his shots and he picks his shots well. Just took a little tickler to the middle stump. Ducked under that one and then went with the round left hook as well. There's a big right hand and I think that might have wob wobbled Lawrence Louis there, although he's come back well. Good solid fight from both these boys. Good leg work there from Chow, mixing the high and low. Technical bout. The corner's very vocal there, as well as they try boys, to get Trading it. elbows! Huge right elbow there! It's over! It's over! It's over! John Conway's called it. He has waved it off. The Panda's not too happy about it, but it was a massive elbow. Both boys got caught throwing for the elbow at the same time. You could hear Greg Nesbitt calling for it. Lawrence Liu was just a little tighter with it. Let's see if the cameraman caught it. Just working towards it. And there it is right there. It was... He oh. had the collar tie. He switched him around. The Panda Chow, he went to throw his elbow, but Lawrence Liu was just a little bit quicker in getting it to the mark. He had more control. Chow doubled the impact as they both went for the same coup de grace shot. The Panda not too happy about it, but it is in the books. John Conway has called it after that strong right elbow from Lawrence Liu. The 27-year-old from City Kickboxing gets this one done in the second round. Very much a case of, of accuracy and precision over volume there and Lawrence Louis just beat him to the punch more often because he wasn't quite winding up so much that's a case of, of, of technique um, just beating you know um, aggression to the punch fight us to the center cage please Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. 59 seconds into round number two. Your referee, John the Rebel Conway, calls a stop to this contest for your winner by TKO. Fighting into the blue corner, Lawrence Lata Lou.